The road to WrestleMania begins this Saturday at the Royal Rumble Premium Live event, which means it is time for me to give you guys my predictions for the entire show. And I'm sorry, I will not be using a face cam this video. I am making this video very late for you guys, and I am just looking horrible. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the predictions. Mixed tag team action. It is Edge teaming up with his wife, the Glamazon Beth Phoenix, to take on the A-lister, The Miz, and Maurice. Like I said, in a mixed tag team match, and to be honest, I've been really enjoying uh, what we've been seeing on Monday Night Raw over the last few weeks. Uh, Edge and Miz had a pretty fun match at day one. Beth Phoenix making her return. Maurice now gonna be on Raw more often, which is awesome for Miz's character. Uh, but you know, honestly, I feel like the match seems pretty predictable. So I'm just gonna say here, The Miz and Beth Phoenix will pick up the win. Edge will later on probably enter the Royal Rumble match as well as Beth Phoenix. And we'll see what goes on from there. So the Raw Women's Championship will be on the line as Big Time Bex defends the title against Dewdrop. And I've been seeing, seeing a lot of hate towards this match because a lot of people want to see, obviously, Liv Morgan or Bianca getting this spot. But to be honest, I am pretty excited for this match. And it's because I really know Dewdrop's uh, wrestling from NXT UK when she was Piper Niven. And she's a really good wrestler when the spotlight is on her. So getting this opportunity is a big step for her. Though I don't see her winning the championship, it's still a big step for Dewdrop. So I hope she gets a lot of TV time for this match but my prediction goes to becky lynch retaining the raw women's championship the universal championship will be on the line as smackdown's head of the table tribal chief reigning defending undisputed uncontroverted wwe universal heavyweight champion roman reigns defends the title against raw's visionary revolutionary seth freaking rollins and I still don't understand why people are complaining. We are getting the match we've wanted for so long at the Royal Rumble. I don't care if Seth Rollins is on Raw. I, I really don't care. All I want to see is some good wrestling. And we're going to see some really good wrestling between these two amazing competitors. Now, at first, when we found out about this match, it seemed very predictable as to who was going to win. But now that we know of a few rumors, this match is probably the most unpredictable on the card because Seth Rollins might have a chance at becoming Universal Champion. He might be the one to take the title from Roman Reigns. Now that Brock Lesnar is WWE Champion and him and Roman still have a few to continue, it wouldn't make sense for both Roman and Brock to retain their titles. So when it comes to who is winning this match, it really could go either way. Now, personally, I love Seth Rollins. I want to see him world champion again. But at the reign that Roman has had, I really feel like a, an, an undercard or a built-up superstar, someone who is not in the main event scene yet, could definitely be elevated by defeating Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins is already at the peak of his career. He does not need this win to prove anything. So if I were WWE, I would have Roman Reigns retain the championship. I don't think it's the right time for him to lose the title. But when it comes to who I think is going to win this match, I have to go with Seth Rollins. And it honestly would make the most sense because Seth Rollins is at the best he's ever been. And the original plans were for Seth Rollins to win the WWE title at day one. But Brock Lesnar was inserted. So a lot of plans had to be changed. But now that everything is in place, it's the perfect time for Seth Rollins to get the win and the 500 plus day reign of the Tribal Chief and become a three time Universal Champion. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship is on the line in probably my favorite match that's going to take place besides the Royal Rumble matches. The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar accompanied by Paul Heyman versus the almighty Bobby Lashley accompanied by MVP. We've wanted this match for so long, man. I am so excited for this match. We are finally getting it. I have one teensy tiny little complaint and it's not about the story. It's not about any of that it's just when it's happening Brock Lesnar just won the title and it makes this match a little too predictable just too predictable but we are getting the match that's all that matters Bobby Lashley versus Brock 
Lesnar. I still can't believe it's happening yet. I'm so excited for this match. Bobby was booked like such a monster for the last year and a half, being US champion, being almighty WWE champion, and now getting the match he's wanted since 2008 is absolutely amazing. Now, as much as I would love to see Bobby Lashley win the title, this is a great time for him to do it. I just don't see it happening. I don't think it would be good for Brock Lesnar's credibility, especially since he was inserted to the championship match. Now, I think it's going to be an incredible match. I really cannot wait. But one thing I hope is that Brock Lesnar does not break out of the Hurt Lock. Now, he could be put in the Hurt Lock, but I hope maybe he rolls up into a pinfall or something because I feel like if Brock breaks the Hurt Lock, it's going to really hurt Bobby Lashley's credibility himself. But when it comes to my prediction, I think that Brock Lesnar is going to walk out with the WWE title. He's going to walk into WrestleMania as champion to have his rematch with Roman Reigns. So Brock Lesnar to retain the WWE championship. The Women's Royal Rumble match. A match I'm definitely looking forward to more now that we know of a lot of people who are going to be in it. Though I hate that WWE like to spoil who's going to be in the Rumble at the same time. The, the forbidden door has been opened, so you never know who is going to be in the Rumble now. Maybe WWE wanted to let the fans know all these surprises to save the bigger surprises for the actual show. And I would not I'm not going to complain for it. I'm really, really looking forward to this Royal Rumble now that the knockout champion Mickey James is in it. Lita. And so much. Like, this is the one year that I really don't know who could truly win the rumble i have my predictions but when it comes to the woman i believe needs to win this rumble the woman i believe will win this rumble and the woman i believe will get her spotlight will be the woman making history becoming the first ever two-time women's royal rumble winner and that is going to be the est bianca belair bianca belair has had an incredible 2021 First of all, winning the Royal Rumble, beating Sasha Banks in the main event of WrestleMania. Unfortunately, had to get squashed to Becky Lynch at SummerSlam. But just to build up to the storyline, I feel like it would have what would have made the storyline better is if it was still for the SmackDown title. But it doesn't really matter to me as long as Bianca Belair gets her big match with Becky at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's title. Now, when it finally the Men's Royal Rumble match, the match that is a little bit unpredictable for the first time and quite some time man i i mean last year's rumble was pretty unpredictable but this this is a whole nother ball game because now that drew mcintyre is injured it's so so difficult to think of who's gonna win i have my ideas though i'm so excited especially with the forbidden door now we can possibly see some impact stars maybe even aw stars if there's gonna be any aw star I hope, I hope it is MJF. I would just love to see an interaction between him and The Miz and The Rubble. Even John Moxley, bro, that would be absolutely mind-blowing. Imagine, imagine the pop, man. Oh my God, I can't even imagine, man. The Royal Rumble is gonna be insane this year. But when it comes to who I think it's gonna, who is gonna win, I have two predictions. The first prediction is, is it's going to be Kevin Owens. Now, why Kevin Owens? I had this prediction for Kevin Owens to win the Rumble back in October of last year. But a lot of things have changed, but that just opened up more doors for Kevin Owens and opportunities. Now, like I said, I think Seth Rollins is going to take the Universal title from Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins have been having a bromance. And I think it'd be a great storyline for them to fight at WrestleMania, except Kevin Owens doesn't turn on Seth Rollins this time. I think Seth Rollins should turn on Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens has been always the one to turn on best friends. I think it's time Seth Rollins would do that. That way, Kevin Owens could turn back babyface, get a match with Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the Universal title. The match is there. The match would be awesome. We've seen it multiple times. They fought at WrestleMania 36. So I, I would love to see it again. So that is my first prediction. My second prediction is Roman Reigns. Now, like I said, since Roman Reigns is not going to win the universal title match as my prediction i think the fans would give roman so much heat if roman just entered at number 30 and won the entire damn rumble i would not complain i would actually probably boo myself because 
that's such great heel work. And I would acknowledge my tribal chief for doing that. Roman Reigns could go on to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the WWE title. Have the rematch once and for all. Last time to end this rivalry. Now, I have to pick between the two. I have to pick. Will it be Roman Reigns or will it be Kevin Owens? And to be honest with you, I think that it's going to be Roman Reigns. Now, I'm not going to be mad if it's Kevin Owens. Those are my two picks. One Raw, one SmackDown. It comes down to those two. Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns. Let me know who you guys think is going to win the Men's Royal Rumble match. Because it's between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns for me. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see me do live reactions to the Royal Rumble this Saturday. Because that's what I'm looking to do. But I need to see if you guys want to see it. So let me know down in the comment section. But until then, it has been EG Flames. Signing off.